welcome to another video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, in today's video, I will show you how I made these hot cocoa bomb cups. Now, this is my very first time making these, so the look could have been a little bit cleaner or a lot of bit cleaner, but uh, this is my first time making it, and it was all trial and error. So next time, I owe it to y'all to make some more, and I promise you, they will be a lot neater. So stay tuned to see how I made these. So first I started off with chocolate chips. You are more than welcome to use chocolate milks, but the chocolate chips were what I had on hand. Now you wanna make sure that your chocolate is melted to about this consistency. So these are the little cups that I use. Now you wanna take the chocolate and you wanna coat the cups. Um, you wanna make it kind of thick, not too, too thick, but thick enough so that when you pull the cup off of the chocolate, the chocolate will be strong enough to not crack when you take it off. So I use about maybe three three tablespoons I guess maybe but um I will say my chocolate was a little bit thicker than what I wanted it to be so if you want to melt your chocolate just a little bit more than um what I melted mine that will work out a whole lot better So after I finished filling the cups, I set the chocolate cups in the fridge. And now it's time to start making the lids for the chocolate cups. So I cut the tops off of the paper cups and I filled those with chocolate so we can place them on top of the chocolate cups as their lids. And I use wax paper because it'll make it a lot easier when the lids are ready to just come off and I don't have to worry about the lid sticking. Y'all see the boys right here bothering me? They couldn't even wait until I got done, y'all. They were so ready. So at this point, it's time to put the little lids in the fridge. So I let them sit for maybe 30 minutes because I wanted to make sure that they were nice and firm. So after letting these cups sit for about 30 minutes, it's time to cut them away from the chocolate. So um, I started a little incision at the top and then I just kind of pulled it down. You probably can have an easier way to do it, but this was my first time and um, this was the best way that I knew how to do it. And it came out pretty decent. Yeah, I like it. So now I'm gonna just start taking the um, cup from around the chocolate molds. Y'all see I had to go back and put some gloves on because these cups were melting fast and I was trying to do anything to preserve the life of these cups that I worked so hard to make. But I think if you put them in the freezer or if you make them a little bit thicker or put them in the freezer and, freezer and let them get a little bit more solid, I don't think they will melt as fast. So that's something to keep in mind if you're going to decide to make these. So now that the lids are ready, it's time to start taking these out. Y'all, they came out pretty good. Um, this part, well, this whole process can be pretty time consuming anyway, but um, this is the type of stuff that I like to do. So um, you gotta go in with a fresh mind if you don't really enjoy doing stuff like this or if this stuff gets to you. And all of them didn't turn out perfect, but that's okay because at the end when I decorate the cups, you don't even really see the lids that much. But um, yeah, just take your time and just know that there's always little tricks you can do to kind of camouflage your mistakes because I don't know if y'all saw it, but one of my cups had a little hole in it. So I had to go back and get some chocolate and kind of like rub it over the hole to cover it up. And then um, I'll show you how I clean up these lids and the um, rims of the cup as I get closer to the end of the video.
So y'all right here, what I was doing, I had my griddle and I don't know why I didn't show this process. I guess I was just in my zone, but I had my griddle sitting in front of me. I had it on low and I would turn the cups over and kind of let it melt until it gave me a clean edge. And then I didn't have to do so much with my lids, but you could do the same thing with the lids if you need to. But some people, they opt to like maybe heat up a plate in the microwave and then they do it that way. That way is um, a lot safer, but I was trying to hurry up and get it done. And I was just in my element. And then right here you will see, I made a big mistake. I had start, started putting the lids on before I even poured the hot cocoa in there. Like, oh my God. So um, yeah, I had to end up taking the lids back off of some of them before I got too far when I thought about it. So after this, I took the lids off and then I just used Swiss Miss hot cocoa and I filled each cup with the um, Swiss Miss hot cocoa before I put the lids back on. Now I'm gonna start decorating the cups. I had made some chocolate molds to just go on some of them so they could, you know, add a little bit of something to the cup. So now I'm gonna start decorating the cups and with the marshmallows. For me, this was one of the most time consuming parts because I took each marshmallow, I dipped it in chocolate and then stacked it on the lid of the chocolate cup. So, um, yeah, I did a lot of that off camera. I showed y'all a little bit, but it was just a whole lot to show step by step as far as the decorating. Y'all remember, this was my first time making these cups, so they don't look as clean as I would like for them to look. I got a lot of the milk chocolate on the white chocolate. Um, I cleaned it up as best as I could by the time I got done, but I promise you next time, it's gonna look so much better. I'm gonna have so much more details on the cup, so. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see that. So y'all, here is the finished product. Let me know what you think of them and let me know if you're thinking about trying this for yourself. It was fun and like I said, I'm, I'm learning from my mistakes. <laughs> Next time they'll be a lot better, but I do still believe they turned out pretty cute. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.